Hi everybody, it's Ramona Remesad here with the Daily Angel Guidance message for April 17th. I hope all of you uh, who celebrate Easter had a wonderful Easter weekend and enjoyed spending some time with friends or family, maybe having some really nice yummy food. And uh, now we are back into another work week. And I don't know about you, but today I'm feeling extremely tired. <laughs> Um, like just very kind of wiped out and almost like teary, you know, I don't really get where that's coming from. But um, anyway, that's kind of just what's been going on today. I'm still not 100%, still kind of a little bit sick. So even though you got me with hair and makeup today, I'm kind of in my comfy clothes still. And I think part of it is I'm still in withdrawal <laughs> coming back from vacation. Today's really kind of, um, well, it's kind of uh, overcast outside and not that great. It's only about a high of one degree Celsius right now. We actually had snow on the ground when we woke up yesterday for Easter. So, you know, that versus this, I think, yeah, I'm feeling like I still need this. Uh, I really am needing to ground myself, so I think I'll have to go outside later, but I'm really missing having my feet in the grass, in the sand, in the ocean. So if any of you are feeling like today that you're kind of um, really tired or, you know, even emotional, grounding is probably a really good idea. So if you can go outside and put your bare feet in the grass or be around some trees or water for a little bit today, that's really going to help you. So that's something that I'm going to do. And hi, Mandy. So nice to see you here. I hope you had a wonderful Easter. So um, because of like how I said I'm kind of feeling today, I wanted to continue working with the angel therapy deck. And angel therapy is a term, it's really a non-denominational healing practice or healing method to help you heal and harmonize every aspect of your life by working with your angels and the guardian angels. That's all angel therapy means. And as an angel therapy practitioner, that's what I help people do. So today's card, and I'm so happy that I pulled this because this is a big lesson, it's have you asked for help with this? So um, I'm just, <laughs> they're so funny. The first thing that I'm hearing is my mother's voice. When we were growing up, you know, she would jokingly say, I walk on water, but I don't read minds. You know, you have to tell me what you need, right? And you have to tell me if you need help with something. And it's kind of the same when you work with the angels. Yes, they are with you. Yes, you all have your own personal guardian angels who are assigned just specifically to you, but you have something called free will. And there is a law of free will and they are not allowed to interfere in your life unless you ask for help. And the only uh, exception to that rule is if it is a matter of life and death and it isn't your time to go, right? They will swoop in, they will help you they will protect you. But other than that, if you need help with something, you know, you have to say, angels, please help me, right? And you can ask for help by thinking it, by writing it down, by praying, um, screaming in frustration. It doesn't matter how you ask, but just that you ask. And a lot of times we're going through life and things are bumpy and maybe not as going as smoothly as we'd like. And we think, you know, why is this so hard? And why are these things happening to me? And you know, we kind of get into the woe is me a little bit. And then, you know, ask yourself, have I asked for any help, right? We have earthly help that we can reach out for, but you also have, like I said, your angels and it extends beyond that. You have your angels who are helping you, deceased loved ones who want to help you, uh, your spirit guides who want to help you, the archangels who want to help you. So you, all, everybody on this earth comes with a team or an entourage. So at any moment, you can be reaching out to your spiritual team and telling them what you need help with, and they will immediately get into action, okay? Now, it doesn't mean you're going to see immediate results because sometimes, you know, there's the sense of divine timing. Something else has to happen first in order for them to, you know, line everything up that you're asking for, but they are always in action. So this card actually says your angels want to help you with this situation, however, they require your permission before they can intervene in your free will choices. So like I said, you have to make sure 
that you're asking for help. And now this doesn't come naturally, so don't beat yourself up for this. This doesn't come naturally to most people. I mean, we weren't typically raised by saying, oh, I'm gonna ask my angels for help with this, right? So, you know, it takes some, some repetition, like anything when you're starting something new, it takes commitment and consistency. So today, especially commit to asking your angels for help with something and start doing this every day. And you may wanna put sticky notes all over. This is how I learned. I would put sticky notes on my fridge, on my bathroom mirror, by my computer, on my steering wheel, my car, and it would say, have you asked for help with this? Or have I asked for help? And that would be my constant reminder so that every single day I could be asking my angels for all kinds of things. And the other thing that they want to remind you about is that you don't just need to ask them for help, um, you know, with something that's a big issue, right? Or a big crisis. You can ask for help with tiny things, okay? Like from, you know, needing a parking spot when you're in a hurry, all the way up to the big things, okay? And I'll just share this story with you because I love this. This is when I was first learning. I was working with um, another, I, I hadn't done my angel therapy uh, certification yet, but I was working with somebody and kind of mentoring with them. And so I was learning and one day I was uh, driving along and I really felt like I needed this book. So I went into the bookstore and it was a cold, really drizzly kind of fall day. And I thought, oh, I'd really like a cup of tea. And they had a Starbucks in the bookstore. And so I went up to the counter. Well, first I was in this back and forth in my head because I'm like, oh, I don't have any cash on me. I don't really want to use my debit card for like, you know, $2 tea. But I really wanted one. So I, you know, and I remembered, ask for help, ask for help. So I said, okay, angels, please help me with this, right? And kind of almost half in my head, you know, haha, -ha, like as a joke, right? So I walk up to the counter and there was a woman ahead of me in line and she was being served and then the barista just kind of poked his head up and said, what can we get started for you? And I said, oh, I just would like a cup of tea. And so he got that and handed me the drink back and said, it's on us today. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so my whole inner struggle about, oh, I don't wanna pay with my debit and I have no cash, non-issue. The angels stepped up and they got me a free drink at Starbucks. So, you know, that's just an, one example. And I get emails all the time from my clients. And they always start with the same thing. They always say, you're never going to believe this, but, you know, and they share all these really cool stories of things that they've had um, happen to them when they started asking for help. So, like I said, today, that's your homework assignment. Make sure you're asking for help with something. And it doesn't have to be huge. It can be tiny. It can be anything in between. Just start with something. Okay, so hopefully you can commit to that for today. Again, it's have you asked for help with this? And if you're, you know, sticky note person, they are so handy. I'm telling you to get you into this habit of asking for help over and over and over because like I said, we always forget, right? So that's the message for today. And do you like my mug? May you always have an angel by your side. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to be spring, but I'm just feeling, like I said, it's, it's so blah out there. It's still kind of cold. I'm drinking hot drinks. I'm missing Hawaii, wishing I was here instead of here, but I am going to go outside for a walk. So like I said too, if you're feeling a little bit spacey today or a little bit emotional today or just kind of off and tired and whatever, some grounding would be really, really good. So I'm going to go walk by the pond. Our ducks are out there. And I actually think I heard the red-winged blackbirds this morning. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm hoping they're back because I really love when they're singing. So nice. So have a great day, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And um, real quick, I have a question for you too. I would love to know what you would like to know more about when it comes to working with your angels. It can be anything. Is there a specific area you're interested? Like, how can I get my angels to help me with money? Or how can I get my angels to help me with health? Or how can I get my angels to help me with relationships? Or how can I get angels to help me grow my business? Any of that. Um, you know, how do I know what angels to work with? And how can I find out my guardian angels names? Any of that stuff. So have a little brainstorm. You know, what are all the things that you wish you knew? want to know and then come back here and post that for me that would be great because I want to be providing you guys with some content that um, you know stuff that you want to know because I'm going to be back on 
doing my takeaway tip Tuesday live stream. So that will be on Tuesdays. Typically it's at about 1130 mountain time, which is 130 Eastern time. And that's where I give some more deep, deeper content on a specific topic. So I, uh, I'm starting to pull together some ideas, some things that I want to talk about. But like I said, I'd love to know what you would like to know more about. So please post, please share, comment, like, all that stuff. Facebook loves that. And then this message will get into more people's news feeds so they can get this message. Okay. So happy Monday. Have a great one. I thought Mila would poke her head in here, but she's sleeping on my desk right now. Oh, to be a cat, huh? Uh, anyway, uh, have a great Monday and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.